Here comes Reality. She's a lovely boat. We sold her three years ago and she's in just as nice condition now as she was then. She's a 55 foot semi trad built in the workshop opposite us here by Stowhill Marine in 2003. Paintwork's in nice condition. She was last blacked in March 21, so that will be due. She had a full survey October 2022. That's in the office for inspection if you wanted to see it. Decent sized uh, rear deck actually. Four foot six, the semi trad cockpit. That pram cover is new. That was new in, well, it's a year old. Nice big windows, so it's a light boat inside. She's fitted out in ash face ply. And the well deck's a good size, four feet long. Two six kilo gas bottles in that forward locker with a changeover valve. It's the third time we've sold this boat since 2017, and to be honest, the first time we sold her, she was in just as uh, she's just as nice now as she was then. It's an integral water tank, 800 litres. The water pump was replaced in February 24. Glazed cratch board. This pram hood was recently renovated and the zips were um, fixed. That was September 2023. And then we go. It's carpeted in the saloon here. It's an L-shaped dinette. That turns into a uh, L-shaped couch, rather. That does turn into a spare double berth. Storage underneath. Shelves all the way under the gunnels here. It's really good use of space. In the corner here is a 28-inch um, Polaroid television with a DVD player in the cupboard there. Storage under that front step. There's a view into the well deck from inside. And another storage cupboard on the starboard side. Central heating on board is an Ebba Spacker. That's a uh, fin rad through the boat at the floor level. Another look back down the saloon. It's a really cosy room. I love it. Here's the dinette. Side hatch opposite. More shelves and a couple of cupboards under the gunnels here. The side hatch does have a perspex infill for so you can have them open if it's raining. So storage under these bench seats. Head height on the boat, six foot four. All the lights are LED. The saloon, by the way, was 16 feet, 6 inches long, including the dinette. The galley is 7 foot 4, covered here. The worktops are vinyl, or la or vi marble effect vinyl. That's um, a 230 volt freezer. There used to be a washing machine in there, so power and plumbing is still there for a washing machine, but the previous owners pr preferred a freezer. Microwave oven above the freezer there. And this is the fridge, it's a 12 volt shoreline. It's a larder fridge. Stainless steel sink. Plenty of storage space in the kitchen here. And the cooker's a Vanette GG7000 4 burner gas hob with novel and grill underneath it. Bathroom's next. It's a walkthrough bathroom. That sink is ceramic. Decent sized cupboard underneath. Decent size covered over as well. The shower's a decent size, two foot square. That's tiled. There's an extractor fan in here as well. The loo itself is a Tecma macerator pump out loo. There's a dressing mirror on the back of the door there. And in between the shower and the cabin side is more storage. into the bedroom which measures eight feet six inches long more shelves there the bed itself six foot three by four feet so the boat sleeps six actually with the l-shaped couch with the dinette on this bed there's reading lights over the bed and at the bottom is a 22 inch logic television on the wall electrica is in here that's a travel power generator three and a half kilowatts that gives you 230 volts when the engine's running the inverter's in here. It's a Victron Multi Plus 2.5 kilowatt inverter charger. There is a galvanic isolator in there as well. And in here, it's a cupboard with some shelves and hanging space at the bottom. Out onto the semi trad deck, padded bench seats either side with storage under. 
really good head height, this pram cover, actually. So it's only a year old. It has a roll-up bit in the front there, the windscreen, so you can see where you're going if it's wet. The engine's in here. It's a B to BV 1505. That was serviced in February this year, 2024. Super clean and tidy in there. Bank of batteries is on the right-hand side of the screen. There's four domestics, 110 amp hours, and one starter. Really nice back deck. This back deck, this very good social space. Hot water on board. The calorifier is heated by the engine, the Ebba Spackle. There is also an immersion heater on board. LED lighting throughout. Not sure if I mentioned that. Really cosy boat. Very practical. Very nicely kept as well. Super boat. So there we go. Reality. For further photographs, fully downloadable colour brochure on the price, go to our website www.rugbyboat.co.uk. Really lovely bows, by the way. It's a typical Stowe Hill, that is.